This tutorial will guide users through the process of updating oil tracks using the standard oil tracks update procedure. The first step is to compose an email to update at sitefindergps.com. The most critical part of this email is to include our Garmin unit ID. If you don't know how to obtain that, it can be instructions can be found on the oil tracks website. Immediately after we've sent that email, we're going to receive an auto reply from update at sitefindergps.com that has a download link for GPS and a download link for map source. I'm going to click on the download link for GPS, which is going to open up an internet browser and prompt me to either open or save the file. At this point, I want to save the file and it's going to go through a download process, which will vary in time depending on the speed of our internet connection. A short time later, we're going to receive a second email from support at sitefindergps.com that contains installation instructions as well as an unlock code. Now, the unlock code is going to be in a file that's attached to the email. So I'm going to save that file. Now, after that file has been saved and after our download is complete, we want to make sure that our GPS unit is plugged into our computer and that our oil tracks card is inside of our GPS unit. At this point we want to hit our start menu and go to computer. We're going to see a Garmin drive with an assigned letter as well as a removable disk drive with an assigned letter. We want to go into our removable disk drive. I'll minimize that screen. Inside there we're going to see a Garmin folder and inside there we're going to see two files that are named the same as the unlock file in the file that we downloaded. So I'm going to copy over the unlock file and then I'm going to copy over the downloaded file from the OSRAX website. And as soon as that file is finished copying, we have completed our oil tracks update and we are ready to use our GPS after it is unplugged from the computer.